Alrighty guys, today we're going to be going over some short little exploits that you can do inside of Stalker Gamma. These aren't anything too crazy, so they won't really break your game or anything like that. They're just little simple things that may not be as immersive. So to start with, we're going to go with something I've gone over inside of my crafting guide that is also on this channel and also inside of the same playlist for Stalker Guides. You can use 0% cloths and other fabrics for crafting. They do not need to be fixed. They do not have any durability on them. So you can't use them to repair things, but you can use them to craft with. Whether this is intentional or not is to be seen, but obviously it's kind of weird that you can use a 0% item or crafting part, which would mean it technically doesn't exist because 0% quality or durability, so it's completely destroyed. But you can use them for crafting things. So whenever you're going to craft, I'm not sure fully at this time if it uses the crappier ones first or not, but just keep in mind that it may use your higher quality ones if you don't keep those in a separate container than your crafting location. So with that, let's move on to the next one. Our next little exploit, I guess wouldn't be a super big exploit, but it is somewhat that. Uh, as you can see, I have an anomaly map for Jupiter. When I open it, I do have a map for all the maps that I found so far. So I somewhat see this as an exploit because of the fact that you can open all these maps even though you only have the one with you. It doesn't matter which one you have with you, you can still open all the maps that you've found so far. So with this uh, little exploit, we're going to move over to how you can get a free lead line container every time you craft. So if you're in the business of collecting artifacts at this point, you do have the opportunity to get free lead line containers. All you really need to make sure to do is that your artifact creator is charged up and that you make sure to use crafts for basic ones to better versions of artifacts. As you can see, I did not have an artifact container in my inventory and it has given me one. I did not have one in my inventory at all. It just magically created one whenever I created the artifact. Uh, this I see this as an exploit because you can craft the artifacts without the lead eye container being involved. You can just craft the artifact directly. But if instead you use two basic artifacts outside of their box, inside of the containers, you can make a container from those artifacts. So from here, move on to a, what I see as a huge exploit if it was inputted properly. So as you can see, I have a topaz armor. I, everything on it's normal. I've upgraded a little bit, but as you can see in the top left, my weight is point, negative 0.4 kilograms, which means this is technically removing weight from my character. Uh, before it's about 4.6 kilograms, the upgrade brings it down 5 kilograms, which makes it down to negative 0 0.0, negative 0.4. So as you can see inside the upgrades, I do have minus 5 kilograms, which has made it negative 0.4 so in a second here i will drop it and then you'll see that my weight goes up when a i drop this armor which generally makes no sense but it is definitely a really good exploit if you want to have unlimited weight and you have a bunch of topazes you could honestly just carry a bunch of these and you could tactically have unlimited weight if you randomly find enough of these and just start crafting the upgrade for them or applying it as you can see, when I drop it, my weight does go up. And then when I pick it back up, it goes back down. So, with that, just keep in mind that if you find a topaz, that you can do this. Just make sure it is the yellow version. I don't know if the other ones do it. They might. So, check those out as well if you have those in your inventory and you can have some free weight on your hands. From here, we are going to move to something that's not really an exploit, but I still think it's kind of funny. <laughs> because with the Gamma Pack... You can essentially have a pistol in every slot. I wouldn't say every slot, but any of your tactical or slots that you equip in your hand. So you can put them inside of your secondary slots or your knife and your binocular slots. So then you can have two main guns and two pistols. As you can see, I am pulling out two separate weapons and two separate pistols. Which is kind of ridiculous and that's going to be a lot of weight and ammo but you know what you can also do you can equip pistols into both of those primary slots so then you're carrying around four pistols which 
in my opinion, is just hilarious if you're just going to the gunfights, whipping out different pistols throughout the whole gunfight. Every time you run out of pistol ammo, you just swap to another pistol and just keep on shooting. So, if you enjoyed this exploit guide, please leave a like and please subscribe to my channel and check out my other stalker videos if you have any more interest in stalker or want to get into it and don't know where to start with. But uh, thank you all and good luck in the zone.